Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will be looking at another lead code problem named as implement str str. So the problem statement is as follows. Return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack or minus one if the needle is not part of the haystack. So the problem statement means that we are given with a substring and a string and we need to find the first occurrence of the substring in that particular string. For example, the haystack is hello and the needle is double L. So double L occurs at position 2 if we start the position from 0. So double L occurs at 2. So the output is 2. Let's consider another example where haystack is 5 times A and the needle is BBA. Since the substring BBA is not present in the haystack phi A's, therefore we need to output minus 1. Since the problem statement is clear to us, we can directly begin with a solution code. So here, haystack is the string and needle is the substring. We need to check whether the needle is present in haystack. If so, we need to return the position of the first occurrence of needle in haystack. So first we can check whether the needle is empty. If so, we return 0. That is, if the substring is empty, we return 0. Now we can use the find function which is present in string str library to find the first occurrence of the substring in the string. For that we can declare a variable named found which stores the return value of the function. The syntax of find function is as follows string dot find and substring in parenthesis. So here the found contains the position of first occurrence of needle and if needle is not present in haystack then the find function returns something known as npos which means that the substring is not found in the string. So we need to check whether the found is not npos. By chance, if the string, the needle is not present in the haystack, then the value of found will be equal to npos. So this if condition fails and finally we return minus 1, which means that the needle is not present in the haystack. So a code is finished and we can run our code. Since the code runs fine we can proceed further to submit it. And it got submitted successfully. So if you found the video helpful, do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such upcoming videos. Thank you.